in this video we shall talk about one of india's giants in the services industry tata consultancy services a company that is the largest in the tata empire founded in 1968 by jrd tata and run by fc koili today tcs is the third largest it services company in the world in this video we will talk about five points strength of tcs business valuation ranking and future of tcs stock in the market the first point strength that tcs has in its business employee loyalty is one of the biggest strengths that tcs has been enjoying company had a goal to have its attrition at less than 10% december 20 attrition rate was at 7.6% it was great to achieve this number keeping employees happy means lesser worries on the brain drain and more focus on the business growth another strength that tcs has is its presence in almost all the verticals of business across the globe this is one of the significant advantages that this company has in having continuation in its business growth say suppose one segment of the business goes down across the globe there is always another segment that will help support the business and keep it growing when travel was shut down across the globe due to covid life science businesses helped get good business it was similar with retail too when supermarkets were shut down e-commerce businesses gave a big push then comes the strategic alliance which is another big advantage that tcs has with its customers it helps their customers grow their business and along with that gets its own growth and also has continuity in its business tcs is one company which doesn't think about size when it's getting into a new business even if it is going to be just two resources to manage a project it happily takes it and slowly penetrates into the company to get a bigger chunk of business with covid becoming pass and world getting back to normal the reverse shift and growth is going to be massive across all the sectors this is going to be a big advantage for business growth in tcs coming to its business an excellent growing business kind of slowed down in the last one year tc covid was a blessing to tcs which brought in a big push to its numbers from september 20 20 onwards it started showing signs of recovery and revenues went up to 1.4 lakh crores profits which took a deep dive during covid times came about and showed a sharp recovery margins getting back to 20% was another significant development that the company had december 20 quarter was the fastest growing quarter for tcs which made 9200 crores of profit in that quarter and that was the highest in the history of this company coming to valuations TCS market capitalization today is at 12 lakh crores how big is this today the pakistan stock market as a whole is valued at 8.24 lakh crores bangladesh market is valued at 3.7 lakh crores tcs as a single company is valued more than both these countries stock exchanges put together so big is tcs today in the market tcs current pe is at its historic levels touching 40 while the industry pe is about 33 so it is not a good idea to buy tcs at current price because it is very highly risky while tcs is a company that should be a part of every investor's portfolio in india the lowest pe that tcs has touched in its history is during the covid times when the stock hit 17 pe will it go back there again not at all unless we have one more chaos like what we had in 2020 so waiting for lows will not be a good idea to buy the stock we should start accumulating the stock when it starts getting into a correction so the next question that will be there in our mind is when is that correction going to happen again that's not going to come soon because of the huge bullishness that the market has and also the enormous amount of fund flow the market is having now it will not go down immediately so tcs can go up further maybe it can cross 40 touch 41 or 42 
after that it can get into a correction it will be a good idea to buy tcs when it trades below 30 pe it might take some time while it is worth the wait because tcs is a company that should be owned for a lifetime coming to ranking tcs stock on its price rank ranks at 79.4 which means about 20 percent of companies that are being tracked among our list of 660 I have given better returns to its investors in the last one year. In ranking, when a stock is above 70, it is worth to be added to a track list. When a stock grows to more than 80 in its ranking, that's where it deserves a place in a portfolio. So for TCS, it qualifies a, to be tracked for the next addition in a portfolio. Future of TCS in the coming years. Analysts are predicting that TCS will be having a CAGR growth of 15 to 20 percent in the coming years. Its CEO Rajesh Gopinathan had told media that the company will be going at double digit in the coming years. Even a 10 percent growth is going to be double digit. So keeping a conservative number of 12 and a half percent growth per annum in three years time at 30 PE, TCS should be quoting at 4000 rupees a share. In five years from now, if the similar growth rate continues, TCS should be trading at 5,000 rupees a share. Buying TCS at 30 PE now, this should be somewhere around 2,500 rupees a share. Our investment in TCS will double in five years. There will be a question going in our mind that what is so great about doubling your money in five years? Any mutual fund that has more than 15% growth can achieve it in the same period. One big advantage of investing into big businesses is the downside risk. Businesses like TCS will have very low downside risk. This brings a huge cushion to investors to keep away from their worries that their investment will drop down in future. Again, be invested in this stock for a longer time, like say 10 years. In 10 years, TCS is likely to trade at 9,100 rupees per share. So accumulate TCS and own a part of India's great business. It will continuously help you grow your wealth. Thank you.